Hey guys, today I'm going to be breaking down the bass from my new song, Hammer Down. If you guys haven't already checked out the song, it's on my YouTube page and my SoundCloud page, so be sure to go listen to it there. But uh, without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. So first of all, let's take a look at this rack here. We've got a main bass chain and then we've got a sub bass chain. And so let's go through the main bass chain first. So I've turned off all the effects so you can hear what it sounds like without all the effects. And so let's just jump right into the serum. And right away you can see it's super simple. The first oscillator is a square wave and all we've got on oscillator B is just the default saw wave. Oscillator A has FM from B on and oscillator B has sync on. And that's what's really doing the magic here. Without all the serum effects on, it just sounds like like this. Um, as well, I turned up the unison here on oscillator A and turned down the detune a little bit um, and turned the random all the way down. And as well, the volume's being automated by LFO2, which is sort of in this, you know, usual shape. Um, I threw in some white noise there just to add a bit of thickness to the sound, and so that's being modulated by LFO2 as well. And then we've got a filter here. The filter cutoff is being modulated by LFO2. We've got a little bit of resonance in there, and then I did modulate the frequency with LFO4 in this pattern here, which I said over two bars. And as well, anytime you want to just make slight variations to the sound, you can just tweak the sync knob and the FM from B knob, and you'll get a totally different sound. Let's just jump to LFO1, which is actually the main part of this sound. With out this on it just sounds like this and that that's pretty cool actually but the whole point of the sound was to get this sort of arcade style bass what i did is i put lfo1 on the course pitch of oscillator a and oscillator b and just turn them up to 19 which is the closest i can get to an octave and so that way it just oscillates the pitch down so it sort of creates a chiptune arcade sort of effect but in the context of a rhythm bass it just sounds super sick Anyways, so that's the main sort of section of the serum patch. Next, we've got some hyperdimension, which is being modulated up and down by LFO2 again, some distortion, same thing, um, an OTT, and a comb filter, which I modulated with LFO3. And you can see how that works. Um, resonance turned all the way down and the mix is only at half. So that's the main patch. Next, I just threw on a saturator, so of course, a fat rack, which is by Crow. I EQ'd it a little bit, took out some lows, took out some muddiness there, the mid lows, took out around 3 kilohertz. Then this reverb is not actually being used, that's just for some effects in the, at the beginning of the drop. And a utility, which I also used for some effects, so that's not part of the actual sound design. So that's it for the main patch. And so, as you can see, it's super simple. It's just a square wave and a saw wave. So that just shows you what you can do with basic shapes, really. But anyways, let's go to the sub. It's just a plain rounded sign. I think this is called a rounded sign. And then I just put a saturator after it to make it thick. Yeah, that's it for the sub. And then at the end, I put on a glue compressor just to glue it all together nicely. Pull down the threshold, you know, usual stuff here. A bit of makeup. So that it's just clipping slightly, and then a sausage fattener to end it all off. I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Join me in glory! <laughs>